All right, I'm getting the truck loaded. We're fixing to head to Arkansas for the archery opener. Opens early in Arkansas, so it's going to be hot, most likely. Evenings might be a little bit cooler, but uh, I think they're saying low of 60. So it's not going to be just real cool, but it'll be better than it is here for sure. We got work going on here, looks like. Man, we building some bullets. Building some bullets. Building some bullets. We here, folks. We here for the opener. Starts tomorrow. So it's gonna be play softball tomorrow. Yeah, but I'll be back when we get off the tree. And I'll have a deer me, for him. Me and Blue will be old tracking them. I'm gonna leave here in about an hour and a half and head to the woods and see if I can shoot a buck deer. bad at all. That's more like it. Right where I want it. I like it just a little bit low. Might as well try one at 40. Well now that I got the bow all checked out, it's shooting good. It's time to head to the woods. There goes the motorcycle gang. Some of them overland bikes. Here come some more. Some cool bikes right there now. All right, let's get in the woods, quick play. First evening, I go to a stand that I hung probably two or three years ago. Hadn't really hunted it much. Got to get in there and put some new straps on the tree and make sure it's safe to climb. So I get all that done, and by the time I get up there, I'm sweated down. stand and my backpack and my boat. Well, I get up to the top of the tree and I'm starting to trim a limb and a fawn comes right up behind me. Kind of spooks off, nothing to worry about.
Finally, some does start coming up the hill. Well, no bucks end up coming in. Uh, that was the end of that hunt. Now Stubbs is gonna be really proud of me on this hunt because I'm going to his favorite stand. There's been some bucks on camera there too, and I'm gonna go see if maybe I can get a chance at one. Had some does come in knowing that there was bucks in the area i'm gonna hold off and not shoot a doe i've got one more hunt in the morning if i don't get something tonight i'm gonna come back in here to this same spot if i have to i'll shoot a doe i don't want to go home empty handed Next morning rolls around, get back in the same stand and immediately doe stop popping out. some more does start coming from my left side they are over there running around acting crazy and then finally one of the mature does comes across the creek walks right under the stand and goes out there in front of me where the feed is grab the Matthews and put it to work.
that's what I'm talking about. Toe down. Boy, it's been a fun hunt. The bucks have just been non-existent. They have changed their patterns. I had a couple of good eight points coming in here, but for whatever reason, they uh they left the area. I don't know if it's because all these acorns that are dropping or if the beans got cut on the property behind us. But for some reason, the bucks just aren't here. So last hunt of the trip. First morning I hunted on this trip and uh, decided I was going to shoot a doe if she came in. And sure enough, she did. Got a doe down. Give God the praise. Glad to be going back to Mississippi with a doe in the back of the truck. Got a doe in the back of the Can-Am. Man, I am pumped to actually get something on this hunt. It was looking rough there for a minute. A little back strap to put on the grill. And now I'm gonna head back to Mississippi. We got food plots to plant. We got buck buster to go in the ground. And uh, we'll be back here in November. Well, give God the praise. Got some back straps to take back home with me. Always an awesome time up here hunting with Joe. And I uh, can't wait to get back here in November, right after Thanksgiving. That's when the rut's on and uh, I'm gonna have the rifle in my hand. Well, I appreciate y'all tuning in this week. Y'all catch us right here at the same time next week for another awesome episode. If y'all haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, we'd appreciate it if y'all would go over there, hit that subscribe button. Uh, comment on some of our episodes check out some of our past episodes we've got all the seasons from way back when so that will really help us out to grow our channel and we really appreciate it